Those are the dreams. No, they're not a new singing group. They are the stars of the Tony Award winning Broadway musical Dream Girls, headed for a Los Angeles opening. In the fall of last year, auditions for the Los Angeles Company of Dream Girls were held in eight U.S. cities. It's only hard to make a decision when you have 20 people who would be great for a role and you're trying to decide which one should play it. Does that happen very often? I'm, no, I've never had. <laughs> With all the <laughs> auditioning and all the people that I've ever seen, I've never been down to where I thought one of 20 would be great in a role. No, it's always been a, a one out of two or three, maybe. That's Michael Bennett, the man who collected a Tony Award and a Pulitzer Prize for his classic Broadway musical, A Chorus Line. He's also producer, director, and co-choreographer of Dreamgirls. What is it about a project mm -hmm. that is given to you, or a script, that makes you decide to do it? Um, well, how desperate I am to work, because I'm a workaholic, first <laughs> of all. Um, no, secondly, it has, I have to relate to the human values in the piece. And I also have to believe that I may be doing something in my own crazy way to help the world. It will be just a couple of moments, you'll go inside to audition. 7,000 aspiring performers jammed backstage areas throughout the country. Only 35, just 35 were chosen. I did not tell the lady, I said, I'm really nervous and I'm not a very good singer, but I can dance my butt off. Are you a dancer? Yeah. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Trained dancer? No, I haven't naturally. <laughs> it's, it's good music and it's, it's a good show, I think. And I'd love to be a part of it. I already prayed and told the Lord I wanted to have the part and he said fine. So I'm just waiting for them to let me know what part I'm going to get. That's Michael Peters, who with Michael Bennett choreographed Dreamgirls. He understands performers because he is one. You know, I mean, there is a technique of auditioning. I mean, it's an art just as much unto as... Itself. Unto itself. Just as much as the actual performance is. By the time you've walked across the stage, you've already been judged on how you look, how you walk how you carry yourself, and then you have 16 bars to sing a song. All right, Tyrone. Fine, fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. That's Cleavon Derricks, vocal arranger for Dreamgirls. He is in charge of the singing auditions, and sometimes it's not an easy job. That's a good job in the city. Work for the man every night and day. Never, never lost one minute in a fish with the world. I'm about to play the man, I'm about to play. The big wheels keep on turning. Go, I'm about to keep on turning. I said, no, then. Okay, Donald. Fine. Thank you so much. I mean, there's always that promise of that one great star that you're going to find. So, I mean, it's always exciting. I mean, that's how Jennifer reached out. It's very serious. <laughs> it's so serious. That's Jennifer Holliday. She won a Tony Award for her performance in the New York cast of Dreamgirls. You think it's going to be difficult to find another person to other people to do that role well i have understudies right now who are very good in the role and who can sing i mean they're you know they different very very talented and they're different i think that i will find other people who will be very good in it they will be different that's vanessa townsell his kind of different she has stepped into the shoes and costumes of jennifer holiday in the new york production Three months ago, she was working at the Pacific Telephone Company in Los Angeles. 
Well, all right then. I asked him, I said, does this mean I can quit the phone company now? He said, oh, sure. You see, dreams do come true.